Today was a historic event for the Arizona National Guard. It's the first time that we've ever done a muster. And a muster is a pass and review of the troops for the leadership of the Arizona National Guard. That includes our Adjutant General and the Governor. It was amazing to have all 3,700 soldiers and airmen out on the field today. Overall, the Guard has about 7,500 members. And the difference between the National Guard and a full-time base is that the full-time base is there and everybody knows it's a location that you go to. As National Guardsmen, we're citizen soldiers or citizen airmen. We actually live in your community, so having the opportunity to gather like this was a moment of pride for us, but it was also such a historic event because we've never gathered in this capacity before. In addition to the muster, the National Guard had an opportunity to have an open house and expo. This is the first time that we actually get a chance to show off all the things that we're capable of doing, our equipment, our materials, soldiers and airmen, interacting together, bringing the families out, the public, to really see what we do. We've got displays of military vehicles, military helicopters. We have a rock climbing wall out there for kids to do. Uh, we have face painting. It's just an overall great opportunity to show that we're not, we're not just soldiers and airmen, you know, one week in a month. We live in the community. We're, we're part of your family. We're your next door neighbors. We're there and we're always ready and happy to serve the citizens of Arizona and our nation. Good morning and welcome to Sun Devil Stadium. We're honored to have you on this great ground. When we had this idea of, of the muster uh, and we approached ASU, we, we could not have received a, a warmer reception. This was something that uh, is the epitome of a great partnership. Working with the university, uh, President Crow, Mr. Anderson, and all the folks that were involved, just an outstanding, cohesive program. We couldn't have done it without the university, and we're so grateful that they provided this venue for us to mark this moment in Arizona's history, and we appreciate it.